And Joe, could you tilt that light up towards the paintings? Or maybe open up a curtain? Does she need to be light or can you give her a camera? Can I look into the camera? What should I do? Yeah, this is good. Okay. You can Shall I look at you? One. You can look right over the shoulder of the camera, not me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather look at you. <laughs> yeah. My name is Ariel Chernin, and I'm a student at the New York Studio School. At the school, I mostly do paintings, but when I'm not at school, I work in collage and other things. I started painting with my grandmother, and she was actually a painter, and she, it's really interesting, she actually started off with this wealthy family in Texas, and she kind of rebelled and became an artist. And so when I was a little girl, she used to paint with me, and that was the first time I really started to do art. I think of myself as an artist, although that's not like my identity, it's just a part of me. Um, I think painting is only one aspect of what I do. I don't want to narrow myself into one box. These are pieces that I did um, in my first semester at the studio school. Painting is a huge struggle for me, especially oil paints, because they mix together and I love color, but it's really difficult to get the colors I love. Like I always respond to paintings that are really bright and vibrant. In my own paintings, they tend to get really dark take things from life or from photographs. I'm interested in like my family. And I did a few pieces on the artist Arshel Gorky. Having um, images that you can sort of recognize, but they're sort of veiled. Like I don't want anything out in the obvious. I, I don't want to like do it outright. I like to have some sort of mystery. The idea of somebody putting themselves into the painting, you know? Because I feel like if you make it too specific, it might be hard for someone to identify with of my feeling coming through the painting and you getting that. So it's like a communication and this is, this is like the, the, the vehicle. I think, I think art is just an expression. I don't know, I think it's a way of communication. I went to the Armory show and I saw this, I forget the woman's name, I can't pronounce it, but it was this video of her and she was a, a sanitation artist and what she would do is that she went and shook hands with everyone in the sanitation department in like the 70s. And she she filmed like all these like garbage trucks kind of doing these dances on the street and they had shots of like this crane picking up garbage. And she said like, why can't this be art? Things like that make me question art. We do art every day, like when we feed our kids breakfast or when we brush their hair, that's art. Everything is art. And like, I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, It'd be kind of wonderful to go through life thinking everything you do is art. I think that would be great. No, I mean, if somebody just like, like, craps on the floor and says this is art, then it's art because they say it's art, you know? Or if some, it's so, it's so subjective. Like, who might say it's art because they say it's art? A lot of artists who are doing things where they're doing art that's not being recorded. Well, it's, it's experienced by other people, but the other people don't know it's art, and there's no proof that it actually happened. But it's still art, even if no one could see it. <laughs> I think it is as art. It's not a distraction or addition. I think they're both the same thing. I don't see them as separate, you know? I think art is a lot to do about intention, you know? Like it's naming things. Like even if you didn't intend to make a piece of art and then later you name it art, then it's still art. Yeah, I mean I want people to Of course I'm in art school. Well that's like me naked. Well this is my first time showing on my own, which is really exciting. It could be fantasy. Price them low so people buy them. <laughs> <laughs> he 